hopefully get some better weather as we go forward. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dennis. Are there any other individual can? We do have a short presentation plan for item P, which is the plans and specifications for the Skydance Bridge that will be going out to bid. Okay. <clears throat> Mayor and Council, Mr. City Manager, uh, I'm pleased to be here this morning to give you, a, Mr. Couch said brief, it is a very brief presentation, uh, to bring you up to date on uh, where we are with the Skydance Bridge, uh, refresh your memories, and for the benefit of the two new council people, uh, perhaps they are not familiar with the project as much as others. Uh, this is item 6P on your agenda, and it is to advertise the project for bids. Uh, a little bit of history on the project. The Federal Highway Administration, through the record of decision, and in an effort to mitigate uh, the impact to the neighborhoods, required ODOT to provide a pedestrian connection over the new interstate highway. Uh, the bridge was to connect the neighborhoods to the south of the highway to the downtown area. The decision was made uh, through the city, uh, the original location of the bridge was to be just west of Union Station uh, near Hudson, and we decided through the Court Shore effort to move that location to the east side of Union Station near Harvey. The Federal Highway Administration, ODOT, and the State Historic Preservation Office all concurred with that decision. We entered into a design competition, something the city rarely does. Uh, this was done in 2008. Uh, we received proposals from several firms in March of 2008. We went through a, a lengthy uh, analysis of those proposals and shortlisted four firms to create models for the new bridge. Uh, the teams were challenged to create a unique, symbolic, and timeless design. Uh, the design team of MKEC and Booster Design was the selected uh, team, and they, uh, that selection was made in November of 2008. Their design was inspired by the sky dance of the scissor tail flycatcher of the State Board of Oklahoma. The 18-story tall bridge will span the new expressway. The location, again, is just east of Harvey Avenue. Uh, the Central Park to the, to the north and the Promenade Park to the south will be connected by the bridge. And ultimately, there will be a pedestrian connection all the way from the river to downtown. The two skyward reaching wings will frame paths for travelers on the New York Interstate Highway. And again, the taller wing reaches about 192 feet above the, uh, the surface of the roadway. Uh, this is a, uh, a model that was built by the firm that, uh, that we hired to do the conceptual plan for the Central Park. This is looking back north toward downtown. You can see the newly aligned I-40 and the Skydance Bridge there in about the center of the photo photograph. The next slide uh, is from the opposite side, looking from north back to the south. In uh, a nighttime view, you can see Union Station on the right and the Skydance Bridge on the left. This is kind of a zoomed-in view of that same photograph. Again, Union Station on the right and the Skydance Bridge on the left. This is a ground level uh, view looking south through the, what would be the, uh, the Central Park. Uh, you can see the Skydance Bridge there on the left center and Union Station on the right. Some interesting facts <clears throat> about the bridge. Uh, the, the clear walkway is 20 feet wide. The overall span of the bridge is about 380 feet. Again, the sculpture height is 192 feet above the relocated I-40 surface. There's just over 100 tons of steel in the sculpture itself, and there's about 900 cubic yards of concrete that will be used in the substructure. It was a very detailed analysis of the structural integrity, including wind analysis, ice, earthquake, and structural endurance. The current status, we are currently reviewing the final draft of an airsp airspace lease agreement with ODOT. We hope to have this document uh, for your consideration before we receive bids. The last parcel of land was acquired by the MAPS office, and that item was on your council agenda last week. Uh, the superstructure project will be advertised today if the item is approved, and we will receive bids on July the 12th. ODOT will be bidding the uh, substructure part, the pier and the abutments, along with their final surfacing contract for I-40, and that will happen in July. And we will award the, intend to award the superstructure contract before August the 2nd. We intend to begin construction in August with site preparation and fabrication of the structure. There's a lengthy fabrication time, about 15 to 16 weeks. Uh, the bridge structure should be ready for the installation of the iconic uh, sculpture by mid-December, and that will be installed in that time frame. Uh, other structure items, including the completion of the deck, 
lighting, railing, and the approaches uh, should be completed in the spring. Uh, that completes my presentation, although we do have a short animation. Uh, JC's going to pull this up. This will give you an idea of what a traveler might see traveling eastbound along I-40 from about, that's the Walker, uh, the Walker Bridge, uh, heading toward the, uh, the Skydance Bridge. We see Union Station on the left. Obviously, this isn't me driving. I'd be going much faster than this. And that's the Robinson Street Bridge, and then finally the Shields Bridge. That gives you an idea of what the, uh, the new interstate should look like once it is all completed. And I'll be happy to respond to questions. Uh, on the, the uh, river, uh, we 